graphics and design learners. This very first video in the new How to EGD series preparing you for your final grade 12 exams will discuss in detail what the questions are you can expect in paper one and the questions for paper two. And it's going to be important in your preparations to know exactly what they will ask. And this video will give you a quick overview. I'll also talk about the instructions that you will find on the actual papers so that when you get to the exam room, you already know how to be focused and prepare yourself to make the best use of those three hours you have for paper one and paper two. Make sure you subscribe and like and share this because this content will really define your preparations for your final exams. And I want to make sure as many learners as possible know about this. Let's get going. Radio. In the actual examination guidance prepared for us by the Department of Education, they give you a breakdown of the two papers that you can expect. The first one is paper one, civil. Please note it's three hours and this paper is in first angle or the graphic projection only unless otherwise stated. Here you're going to have four questions. The first one will be civil analytical, which is about 15% of this question, which comes to 30 marks in total. Your second one will be solid geometry and interpenetration and development, or it could be solid geometry or interpenetration and development. So you need to make sure that you prepare for both of these. Combined, this will be another 40 marks. Okay. And in the previous years, they've always asked both of them. Uh, so make sure you Take note of that. The third question will be a two-point perspective. Again, 20%. So that's another 40 marks. And then your last question, which is a total of 45%, civil working drawing, including electrical features. That's roughly 90 marks. That brings to a grand total of 200. Okay. And in the actual, uh, your contribution to your national senior certificate, it's 100 marks. Remember, you've got a total of 400 marks that you can achieve 100 in paper 1, 100 in paper 2, your PAT is the other 100, and your SPA was the other 100. All right, then before we go to the general instructions, let's just look at paper 2. So that's a mechanical, of course, again, 3 hours, and all of these drawings will be in third angle orthographic projection. Right, the first question, mechanical analytical, again, 30 marks or 15%. Then question 2 will be a loci of a cam. And a loci of a point or points of a mechanism. Again, there is an or. Please note, it will not be a loci of a helix. Only a loci of a cam. There is no transition pieces. It's only either or either one of these two. Then you have our symmetric drawing, which is another 20% or 40 marks. And the mechanical assembly, which is the bulk of this question, up to 90 marks. So you can really see here where... They put the emphasis, the mechanical assembly, critical for paper two, civil drawings, critical for paper one. Let's look at the general instructions that was given to you, or that's going to be in the actual papers. It's going to read exactly like it is here, so let's read that together. The question paper consists of four questions. You have to answer all of these questions. All drawings are in first angle orthographic projection for paper one, and third angle orthographic projection for paper two, unless otherwise stated. Okay, they put that there as a disclaimer, but um, I'm confident that it won't be such. All drawings must be prepared using a pencil. You can't use colored pencils, plain pencil. Your instruments, unless otherwise stated. Okay, but it's going to be pencils and your instruments. Make sure you wash them before you actually get to class uh, with soap and warm water. Okay, all answers must be drawn accurately and neatly. All the questions must be answered on the question paper, as instructed. All the pages, irrespective of whether the question was attempted or not, must be restapled in miracle sequence on the top left-hand corner. Time management is essential in order to complete all the questions. Let's just pause there for a moment. Time management is essential. If you think you've got three hours, right? Let's just take one of these, for example. You have three hours. The bulk of the marks goes to your civil and your mechanical. I would say, guess at least here, an hour and a half that you need for your civil and your mechanical to really absolutely nail those 90 marks. Okay, that leaves you with another hour and a half. If you then spend 30 minutes on your two point, 30 minutes on these two solids and interpenetration, that gives you two and a half hours and it gives you another 30 minutes, 
for your analytical. Now what you can do is you can make this definitely a lot quicker in 15 minutes or so. That can leave you additional time here for question two, question three. Now you're going to know which one of these drawings you really are able to draw effectively uh, and quickly and therefore accordingly you will manage your own time. But this is just a guide for each one of you. I would actually say make sure you don't spend more than 15 minutes here to allow more time at either one of these two. Okay, so you time yourself 15 minutes on the first question and then 30 uh, to 40 and 30 to 40 on these two because these are also big marks and then one and a half hour for your civil. Shouldn't be a problem. You should, should be able to get through that. Okay, let's look then to the next one. Um, print your examination number in the block provided on every page. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot write your name on that paper or the name of your school anywhere only examination numbers which will be given to you any details what i mean is not given must be assumed in good proportion remember a lot of times there is a mistake on these papers and then you need to make sure you uh, assume any details that's missing in good proportion that's how they're going to judge your actual drawing in the end all right Although not included as general instruction, additional layout planning is essential for drawings where reference starting point or positions is not given. Now, in most of them, there will be reference points like start at point P or point S, except at solid geometry, interpenetration developments, and mechanical assembly. So these three, you will have to plan your own layouts, and I'll talk to that in the coming um, videos. All right, then lastly, just for your understanding, these will be the cognitive levels that they test Lower order, just understanding and remembering 30%, middle order 40%, and in higher order, we actually really have to problem solve, evaluate, create, that's another 30%. So, so that's a quick overview. I've got one last tip. Up to now, teachers have put a lot of pressure on you to get things drawn neatly. Take note, in the final exams, neatness counts zip, okay? So rather make sure you get the correct lines drawn and the drawings completed. That's much more important than actual neatness, okay? That's my last tip for this quick video. Next one, we'll look at paper one, especially the civil analytics, and then we'll make a video for each one of these other drawings. So be sure to watch them. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.